On this episode of DPV, we're going to review this Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench. Welcome to Days of Pain and Victory. I'm Josh. Today we're checking out this Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench. So on one of my recent projects, we were working on Buddy's Ranger and uh, busted off some head bolts. And it was due to a couple of reasons. One of them being a faulty torque wrench. So, ended up picking up this Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench to replace my Evercraft. And uh, I am very, very happy with it. So let me show you a few things about this thing and tell you ultimately why I picked this particular wrench. So this Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench, it's got this sweet carrying case it comes with to help protect it. You can latch it down and make sure that, you know, it's not going to get banged around in your toolbox. Holds it nice and solid. This torque wrench also goes from 20 to 250 pounds. So that's a pretty good range and I like that it goes to that high top end. Um, so when you're doing like hub nuts and stuff, you've got what it takes to torque stuff down. One of my favorite features of this wrench is how it adjusts. So the way it adjusts, you pull this collar back and then you can turn the handle to your adjustment marks. And then when that collar's popped back in, it's locked. Compare that to the Evercraft, see it's got this knob here that you loosen on the end and then you can turn and adjust it and then you tighten this back down to lock it into place. But that inevitably will get loose and when you're pulling on this, it will sometimes rotate to a different torque spec and so it doesn't stay consistently locked down. This one here locks down really good so you don't have to worry about losing your adjustment which is just great. It's got a nice solid click. And it just feels really good in your hand. So overall, I'm really impressed with this torque wrench. And let me tell you the main reason why I chose this particular torque wrench to replace my Evercraft. So about seven years ago, my wife and I had a Chevy Equinox and lost head gaskets. Going through the process of torquing down the heads after they're rebuilt and whatnot uh, with my Evercraft and snapped off head bolt. The Evercraft just lost its calibration. So I borrowed a Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench, just like this one from a friend, and finished the job. That was seven years ago or so. Um, fast forward to this past year, helping a buddy out on the Ranger um, with head gaskets. And I had my replacement Evercraft. Uh, Napa did replace it. And uh, it once again lost calibration, broke, head bolt. My friend Pat had his Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench. He loaned it to us, finished the job up, and you know that was seven years later and he uses his, his uh, torque wrench quite often. He's a you know hot rodder, builds cars, plus does all his own maintenance. That just told me you know this Craftsman torque wrench it must be pretty good. Um, it seems to last quite a long time. There's several different levels of torque wrenches. The Evercraft rolls in around 50 bucks, and then you know you can get a Snap-on or a Carlisle for you know 250 or so. This Craftsman wrench is right in the middle. This was about 120 bucks. Yeah, it just it feels good. Seems to last a long time, given the fact that Pat has had his for over a decade now, and uh, really like the way that it adjusts and it's just an overall good deal. So I'll put a link for this wrench down in the description below. If you're looking for a torque wrench, I highly recommend this one. I think it's gonna last me a long time. It should last you a long time as well. If you like this video and wanna see a few other tool review videos, just check out these right here. Thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.